Oh, come on, guys. This is wrong. This is wrong. How brave are you guys, eh? Oh, you're sickening. This is wrong, wrong, wrong. These doors are repainted now they've got tags. Why do you keep wrecking the place? It's beautiful, I'm trapped in the Amazon. Well, no, I'm actually down at the local water filter, which is a section of the suburb where I live in Sydney. And it's a beautiful winter's day. And I thought I'd show you some of the more beautiful things around the suburb and what things look like before they get trashed. Oh, uh, well maybe I spoke too soon, what's going on there? Oh, well, that's a COVID sit here sticker on a tree stump. The wonders never cease to amaze me, but believe me, there are beautiful things to ponder here. It's so nice and quiet because of the virus times, no jets flying overhead. Now, where is that little seat that I put up on the rocks here for the council to pick up? Oh, someone's thrown it down there. I'll just go down and get this carefully, of course, without killing myself. Oh, oh. Actually, I've just, <laughs> I've just seen something there that I don't really want to talk about because we're trying to be positive, aren't we? And I'll just get this back up to the top gently, hey? Whoa! Yeah. Trying to get this chair removed from out of here is like the never-ending story. I will put the chair back on the rock here so the council can come and pick it up. It is a beautiful place here and I'm hoping not to find too many more messes. But you never know your luck in a big city, do you? Oh, crikey, what's going on there? Well, it's looking like a little party on a rock. I think it's fairly innocent. I can see Mentos there. Uh, but someone's dragged over, and I'm pretty sure I put that in the bag that was down in this area. That there, the carpet cleaner. Hmm, strange. I should have brought a bag in here with me, and I could have hauled this stuff out. But you never know, the local kids might come down here and clean it up and be good little citizens. Stranger things have happened. Let me move in this direction. It's a stunning day. It's nice and sunny and I'm just headed down to the area where I had that bag hanging in the tree and I've got to turn around here to find it. Okay, bring it back some memories. That's the tree that's fallen over and that's its root base there. And there's the bag. Let's take a closer look. Okay, it still says free food and drink. It was a very strange thing to find when I first found it. It's a bit damaged now. It's been out in the elements for some time. I'll just see what's underneath here. Okay, looks like someone's been getting into the sweeties down here. And I think, pretty sure that was something that I found in amongst the bag on one of the visits down here. Let's take a further look inside here. Oh yes, the memories are flooding back. Remember that? That was the Kentucky Fried Chicken box. Still with it. There was those pastries in this box here. That's amazing. It looks like they've all gone. I wonder who's eaten that. I hope they're okay if they've eaten it, because they wouldn't have been fresh. Yes. Uh, curious that it's still here. Very strange that those pastries have gone. And maybe I can compress this a bit and, I don't know, hide it under a tree somewhere. Okay, this area looks spooky enough to hide something and I'll just squeeze this bag in here so it's not blown around the place. There. Okay, I'll move out of this area. I've actually got something really, really positive to show you. I know that's rare for me, but I'm heading towards it in this direction. This area got trashed on a big storm we had, which lasted all day back on February 9, 2020. I suppose I've spoken about that store many times and I am actually headed back to the soccer club to show you how amazing the council is at cleaning stuff up around here. Just up there behind those trees is the girl guide hall. All sorts of things get hidden in the scrub around here, believe me. All sorts of things. If you went through there for metal detector, it'd be an amazing revelation. But uh, here we are, down at the now beautiful and clean soccer club. Okay, you know this walk. You've done it a few times with me in this area. I've just got to be careful here because there's rocks and things that are easy to trip on. And what we're going to see is how this place looks when it's not trashed. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. So at least I can see where the ratepayers money is going. This is how the table looks when the local teens haven't trashed it. 
It's so clean you can almost eat your dinner off that surface right there. Here's a barbecue area here, look at that, tag free. People might say, oh that looks boring now Leo. Well I did like the customised aspect to it, but uh, some people like it clean. <laughs> I know that's going to cause debate, even this side here, look at that, nice and clean. And looking across the top of this barbecue area where families prepare their meals, it's so clean. There is a skerrick of tags there, but not much. So, so clean. Oops, I spoke too soon. The 208 boys have been at it again. But overall, it is totally different. And I want you to see it clean because this is the norm. What I was showing you before in the Mess Hunter videos was abnormal. So yes, have a nice hard look at that. It may not last like that for very long. Actually, while I'm here, there's something that's caught my eye over in the corner there. What's going on over there behind the container? Hmm. I think this little container is used by the council. They store stuff in there. So what is this garden hose doing here? Hmm. It's quite curious, isn't it? Why would you be hiding a reel of garden hose behind here? Look at that. That's a very, very curious find. Very curious indeed. I wonder what's going on there. Has me looking a little bit more carefully around here, I can tell you. Hmm, wonder what else I would find down there. Well, that there looks like a handle from a pair of scissors. I'm pretty sure. Let me put that down there for a moment and I'll go down and check out those fivies. Okay, I'm on new territory here. There's a little bit of smashed bottles because uh, when they were throwing bottles some of them were smashed down here. I can certainly see tracks going up here. Hmm, all sorts of things on the ground around here. It's a very, very curious place. Hmm. Okay, that's uh, the cap of a Dairy Whip can. Very curious. That's a bit like the Amazon jungle through here. I am following a path and I am coming up to what looked like those scissors just up there. Okay, I'm up here. There's actually two things that are interesting here. There's a little skeleton of something here. I've got no idea what that is. Maybe someone who knows their bones can tell me what that is there. If you can ID the skull for me, it'd be very nice. And just along from that is, it's only the handle of a pair of scissors. There's a piece of broken bottle there as well. The blades have gone. And this area has actually got quite a few things hiding out in here. I'm actually directly behind that container there and it's when I look down here there's all sorts of things here but it looks like somebody's bag is down there I'm just gonna reach down and grab this I'm gonna throw it over the fence and I'll take a look at this last that's a horrible thing to find down here horrible I'm just gonna throw it up as it's got a bit of weight and there's stuff in this I'll get it up over the fence here ah, cool there's lots of things down here. I, I don't want to get too far into the negative. Uh, maybe I'll come back here another day, but let's go and take a look at the soccer club next to see how it's been cleaned up, which is really what this video is about. And while I track my way out of here, there is something positive to look at. Okay, take a look at the little hut here that the groundsman uses. There's no glass up there. Isn't that nice to see? So yes, it just proves that miracles do happen. Things do get fixed up. And I will continue on to the soccer club. Okay, the last time I had a look at the soccer club here, the doors and windows were covered in tags. Now look at them now. Beautiful and clean, but we wonder how long will it last? I think it's important to show things when they're cleaned up. It's important to show things when they're messed up, but you also got to show that Messed up stuff doesn't last that long. Although the graffiti was on this building for many weeks, it would have been a huge tidy up job this one. I'd hate to think how much it cost because there were so many tags. Every door and window was affected here. It's all nice and clean now. I'll just even check the gents loo up here as well for tags. There we go, as clean as a whistle. So it really goes to show you how pointless all that tagging was. I suppose whoever did it got a bit of a high when they were putting all those tags on and thought, look how smart we are. But eventually everything gets removed. While there's no one in the skate park, let's have a quick look in here and I'll have a few words to say about tagging and graffiti in this area here. Now, 
This is a strange skate park because if there is tagging here, there is a bit of red tagging up there, right in the middle of the screen. The council tends to come along and remove it. But as you can see, this is looking pretty clean. Now there was graffiti on that block there. A few weeks back it's been taken away. But no matter where I look here, this is a clean skate park. And I think to a lot of people that's very, very unusual to see. I noticed there's some tagging on the metal, which is on the concrete here. That's probably got a name, but I wouldn't know because I don't hang out at skate parks. Very common tags that I see, but I'll be honest here. I think this skate park, being a clean skate park, that's a problem. I think if it was allowed to be sprayed up and tagged, we wouldn't have the problems that we've had all throughout the suburb, especially during 2020, especially during the virus times. I'm pretty sure if spraying was allowed here, it would look fantastic. This ramp here would have a beautiful mural on it. It's pretty boring looking at concrete. The tank up there, instead of being painted green, would have a wonderful spray mural on it as well. The whole place would be transformed if the children were allowed to come in here and vent their artistic talents and it would solve a bunch of problems around the suburb. Sometimes the simplest idea is the best solution to a problem. I'm going to finish off the video by taking a look inside the bag that I found down in the bush. It's really nice to be able to walk along here without walking on broken glass or smashed bottles. And I really want to make a point at the soccer club that this is the norm and what was going on here before is not the norm. And there were new people to the suburb and they were saying, oh, we didn't realize that Barrow was like this. It seems to get trashed up all the time. And you sort of got to explain to them, look, it does happen occasionally, but when you started seeing it happening week after week after week after week from basically March 2020, you got to explain that's not the norm. We're in this very strange bubble of time. And uh, if I go up the steps here, I can get to the bag that we want to inspect. Okay, this is the bag I want to take a bit of a look at and I'll just get it down onto the picnic table because it's a nice flat surface. See if I can get it down there in one foul throw. Yo! Yeah! Okay, it's a school bag. I'm assuming it's a children's school bag. It is fairly worn. I can see there's a tag there. I can also see some blonde hair in that section there. In fact, this bag's very ratty. It's got holes all through it. And if I look at the other side, we can see also it's very well worn. Okay, it's actually very heavy. It's got stuff inside it, which is a bit curious. And if I look inside here, yes, I can see that there are things in here. I'll pull all these things out. And I can also see there's actually, there's a book inside there, but let me get the stuff out of here. The first section of the bag has revealed some pens, some whiteout, and it looks like someone testing their tags on that paper there. Quite curious. The next compartment of the bag revealed this paper here. It's a geography paper. I've covered up a name at the top. I'll just bring the camera down nice and slow on this. It looks like it's got a mark of 25. It's very affected by weather. I can't get the sheets apart. Quite curious. One thing it says to me, if they're in year 9 in 2019, they're in year 10 in 2020. Just looking there at the paper again. Okay, it looks like 25 on the paper there. And then if you read the general instructions, you get a bit of a feel for how much this paper's out of, but I was hopeless at maths at school, so I've got no way of adding that up. And I laugh along the bottom here, it says, this paper must not be removed from the examination room. Well, it looks like it has been. Uh, I think there's one other thing in this bag, and it's a great big fat book. Very, very heavy. There was actually two things. There's a pair of pants here. And there's, I'll just call it a great big wad of very, very wet papers. Now, I really don't want to pull this apart now. It needs to be dried out to be properly pulled apart. Although, what I've seen in that block there, or what I could see, it's blank. Okay, I can see some paraphernalia, written paraphernalia about Asquith Boys High School here. Okay, so um, it's just really wet. It's obviously been out in the weather for a period of time. I did see a name on this as well, but of course we can't go there. But nevertheless, I don't like finding stuff like that thrown about. It's a tricky one to deal with, and it's not the first time when I've found bags misplaced in this area. 
In a worst case scenario, this could be a stolen bag and someone thought it'd be great fun to just throw this down in the bush, like get whatever they want out of it and get rid of it. It could be a kid at the end of year. The fact that I'm finding an examination paper there uh, may say to me it was the end of the year and their way of rebelling against the system was to basically just throw it all the way at the end. I think back to the bag here and I think the bag saying to me, well, it's had a lot of use. It's been thrown around a fair bit. And I'm erring on the side that this is someone who's got to the end of the year and they've just had enough of school and everything. And how do you release from that? Well, you get your school bag, don't you? And you just go, see you later, school. I've had enough of you. Yay! But of course, they do far better throws than I can achieve. It's a worry. And I've actually just found in the paperwork there, there's a year 10 assessment booklet 2020. Uh, I don't know what to do here, I really don't, but I'll just put it all back together and I'll have, we'll get it dried out and uh, maybe seek some assistance of this one. Oh yeah, you thought I forgot. Sorry boys, the party's over. Hey, I've just thought of something really nice to do right at the end of the video. Remember before I said I couldn't tidy up because I didn't have a bag? Well guess what? I got a bag now. Yay, have bag, will tidy. I love it when little things like this make the suburb far, far less toxic. I can't stand a toxic suburb. And there's one more mess to pick up. I should do it, shouldn't I? I know some of you are disgusted at the fact I tried to hide that rubbish. Well, I did say all I needed was a bag to really tidy up. And now I have a bag problem solved there might have been a title saying the next day i'm back down at the soccer club it's a foggy morning and the sun's over there trying to poke its head out i'm a tad curious to see what's going on down here and from what i can initially see it looks like just a normal night of fun okay that's the barbecue there uh it's looking pretty much the same as yesterday no tags on that side here is the table, and I'm calling this, that's your normal sort of thing you'll find, okay? Uh, it's a shame they didn't put it in the bin, but it's not that ragtag. One curious bit here is, okay, that's how I finished that drink. And that drink, look at that. That drink's full, so maybe these people were disturbed. And what I will do, in case a child finds this, I'll just dump this out. Look at that, liquid gold. And that's really one thing I don't like is sometimes children can be inquisitive, very young children, they come up here and you don't know what they're gonna do and touch. In fact, I should probably empty this one out as well. Do the right thing, they say. Try not to be toxic. There we go, another child saved. Let me walk around the other side here and we can just look out on the beautiful oval here. There's a group of ladies over there exercising, you can't see them. And while I am here, there's no glass broken on top of the little building there. And the side of the barbecue here looks free of graffiti. So remember, this is what I'm classifying as a normal night's fun, okay? You gotta have some fun in your life, you can't be totally boring. Let's go down and take a look at the soccer club. I sent to my friends in the suburb pictures of the bag that I found here yesterday. And I'm thinking that uh, I think the school can deal with that one in my mind, not the police. I think the school will love to see that. Oh no. Oh, so what well, we were tag free for a day. Okay, there's a tag there. That window's clean. Oh, come on guys. This is wrong. This is wrong. How brave are you guys, hey? Eh? Oh, you're sickening. This is wrong, wrong, wrong. Oh. So, nice clean doors. And they've come along and they wanted to mark up and, you know, say this is ours. Wonderful, isn't it? At least I showed you what it looks like when it's clean. Okay, they haven't got this door yet. I suppose that door can be done over tonight. I'll just poke my head in, it's the disabled toilets. 
Okay, and there's been a history in here of things being set on fire and whatnot. Actually, the door's clean. And look, it looks pretty normal. Okay, oh, there's that up there. I'll just come up and check the other toilet door here. This is the men's toilet here. And they haven't got this one yet, so that could be a target for tonight. Well, soccer club's now starting up for today. There is a game here today, and I suppose it was clean there for maybe a day or so, but then they've come in and decided to paint the town with tags. That's how it works here. It never stops. The way I see it, it's like this. Who gets rid of the tags? The council. Who pays the council? The ratepayers. So who's paying to get rid of the tags? The ratepayers. Lovely, isn't it? This video has got a tad long for looking at messes around the suburb. I was hoping I could report to you that things are getting better, but sadly, I can't do that yet. There has been more trouble at Marina Street Oval. It's now been tagged up. By seeing the tags there, I can see that we're dealing with the same people over and over. I understand one way they're getting through the winter nights. I can see the barbecue gets fired up and they're cooking stuff up on the barbecue, but they always leave a big mess. The locals get angry and put stuff onto Facebook. There are texts that fly around between phones around the suburb and everyone here is wondering when is it going to stop and I've been wondering that myself for months. The next weekend, the soccer club had another strange party. It was a bit different. It wasn't the broken glass sort of party, but a picture will tell a thousand words in what I'm showing here. And again, they're using the barbecue as a heat source because it's the middle of winter. It's really cold this time of year. It's just a shame the barbecue has been ruined for anyone else to use. Another weird thing that happened, and we'll be taking a look at this in the next Mess Hunter video, there were two mystery packages left at the local dog park area, and the police had to be called in to deal with this one, and then the next day, there was a crazy paint attack in the same area, so it looks like the local teens have decided to do a little bit of art in the fashion of the American painter, Jackson Pollock, but unfortunately, the local teens hadn't achieved the brilliant abstract expressionism that Jackson Pollock was known for. Ah yes, so that's something to look forward to in the next Mess Hunter video.